And looks like family photos wrapped up in. Oh, what's this right here? Oh, look at that. Okay, I think this locker's gonna be fun to go through because it's got a lot of stuff like that. And that is definitely a freaking jewelry box. Uh, what's that say? Last time on Locker Nuts, I had to have this gun safe locker and I paid $825 for it at the auction. Right off the bat, we found two really nice rifles. But the finds didn't stop there. Tools, electronics, a guitar, another safe, even a shotgun. This locker was high quality and valuable and there's still so much more to get through. Let's see what other treasures are waiting to be discovered. All right, say good morning. Morning. <laughs> All right, it's Sunday morning, it's about 9.45. We're out in Concord, selling, selling, selling. Let me show you what we got today. Got a lot of wires, cameras, tools, camping stuff, tools, 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 chemicals. I've already sold them quite a bit. Sold about 160 bucks already. So there's actually a lot more this morning. Vacuum cleaners, no one's asked about those. Got a fridge, nobody's asked. Got a junk table here, miscellaneous, Some good stuff here. But Xbox, and we've got the What's left of the Uggs, selling them for 10 bucks each. We've actually sold about five pairs, got a whole bunch of fishing lures, that's kind of cool. Pick those up at a garage sale. Some bike stuff, clipboard, some metal boxes, jewelry box, luggage. I think that's for a dog or something because it's like screened. That's some spooky stuff. CDs here, movies, MREs, funeral collectibles, a dirty juicer, some really nice tea sets, I'll show you this, it's nice, it's cool, this is the one I like right here. Nice. Glassware, cooking stuff, and then over here we've got dollar table of clothes. That's a nice mattress pad there. Stuffed animals. This little guy's trying to get away. And some bedding we haven't even put out. This wine. Cabinet yeah, here. This is actually pretty nice. I'm surprised no one's bought that. So that's our booth. We got two booths. Cost us 50 bucks. So got a lot of stuff, and we have to sell a lot of stuff. Everything's free. Everything's free. Everything's free over here. All right, Sunday night, back at it again. I think it's around 6.30 or so. And there's the locker. I went to the flea market today, sold as much stuff as I could that I took out of here, but I didn't even have time to get through processing all the stuff that I took out of here. So I have a bunch of stuff in my garage that still needs to be gone through. Technically, this is supposed to be cleared out tonight. It ain't happening, but I'm gonna try to make a big chunk out of this. I'm gonna try to get here first thing tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. We will see. So anyways, I'm gonna get to it.
Alright, I stopped the video there because I pulled out this case right here. I don't know what that is. But, um, look at this. I don't know what that's for. This is lab tools. Here's, oh, here's a whole bunch of keys. Those are blanks. This one's not there. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Manual spotted this back here. And it looks like a jewelry box or a humidor. I can't tell, but the glass is definitely broken. They had just too many things stacked up over here. So, um, I can't even tell what that is in there. It looks... <laughs> I really can't even tell. It doesn't look like uh, cigars in there. It would be awesome if that was a jewelry box. So, I'm trying to get this, get this out. Oh, yeah, and then here's the compressor and the... Dolly, the dolly is pretty self-explanatory there. We saw that in the photo, but this is, uh, yeah, this is quite a nice looking compressor here. It's a beast, it's super big. I'm not sure why it looks cockeyed to me, like it's sitting at an angle. I don't know, maybe someone dropped it off a truck, but I'll bring it home and plug it in. I'd say this would be definitely upgrading material for me since I have a little crummy compressor, but this thing is too big. It would take up too much of my garage, but it does look like it's in really nice shape, like it's barely been used. So, I don't know. That looks good. All right, so just one sec, one second later. Okay, I'm still working on getting that jewelry box. I popped this open. I'm looking in there. I'm like, yeah, it looks like family photos wrapped up in. Oh, what's this right here? I pull that out. Probably did soon. Yeah. It's a knife. Ooh, that is... That's pretty. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's got the Harley Davidson logo on there. That's sweet. I like it. But then, I like knives. It's really hard for me to sell knives. But I'm learning. <laughs> I just get so much stuff, I gotta sell something. What else we got in here? A lot of photos. What's this? Rome. Roma. Ooh, what's this? That's kind of rosary beads or something. we got in here what's this oh we got a little honey hole right here oh it's a little it's one of those etched glass pieces it says giants it's some kind of souvenir piece for uh giants baseball who cares i don't care about that Liberty 1991, some kind of coin. That's pretty cool. Well, what else do we have in here? This is actually pretty surprising. Oh, I think this is another coin. Oh, look at that. but the box doesn't feel like it's from 1956. What is that? Silver, maybe? Boy, that's nice. Okay. Butterfingers. 
And that would be nice if this was a gold coin to accompany the silver coin. But I think that's silver too. I don't know. Yeah, it's half dollar. It almost looks like it has a little gold tint to it, but I don't think it does. Cool stuff. What's that? Hmm. Feels like, uh, yeah, I think it's just some cheap little tourist piece. Oh, huh? there's another coin box. Another silver. Hopefully silver. Not gold. That's my point. What's this? American Eagle. Silver bullion coin. Hot dang, this is good. I wasn't even thinking this box was going to have anything but photos in it. Here we got some coins stuffed away. I think this locker's going to be fun to go through because it's got a lot of stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Look at that. And there's my tuna shaker. And this. Silver plated. The awesome is silver. Solid silver. But um not too shabby. These are nice glasses. You can just tell. So here's the big reveal. And that is definitely a freaking jewelry box. Okay, what do we have here? Alright, the glasses are real bummer because That's, that looks nice. Okay, I'm going to have to pause this and send a photo to manual just because I want to capture it as it is. Um, okay, that's cool. A couple little pieces here. Nothing too crazy. There's the knobs for this. It don't matter if there's broken glass. So maybe these watches are worth something. This one looks like it might be. So I'm gonna pause the video just so I get a picture of that. And uh, yeah, before I move the glass. All right, there we go. Got the glass cleaned out for the most part. Some little pieces in there. And uh, what do we have here? Well, it's pretty glassy. Okay, that's a fossil. So nothing fossil. I don't know. Fossil watches have value. Mazda. Um, I like fossil watches. They're they're nice. I don't know what upside down. Uh, what's that say? <laughs> nah. I don't think so. Do you think so? No. Um, I don't think so, but... I have a Rolex, and this doesn't feel like it, but I don't know how to explain it. Just like a little bit of roughness around the edges that um, you would not typically find on a Rolex, because the Rolexes are pretty, pretty awesome. But um, yeah, it just feels like around the edges here, it's a little sharp. Of course, I want it to be a Rolex, but I don't think it is. Just, it's 
it's not light, but it just doesn't feel heavy enough either. Oh man, please let me be wrong. That'd be dope. What's this? Fossil. Fossil. Why is every watch upside down? Uh, fossil. This is pretty. These are, I'll get 20 bucks each on those fossils. Minimum. But this is the, uh, this is the curious one right here. Hmm. I don't think so. I'm going to compare it to mine. I'm going to get home. Hmm. get used to that. Alright, it's getting late. I am past tired. You can probably hear it in my voice. It's been a long day and <laughs> I've made quite a mess. Actually, I've really cleaned it up. This is what's... I haven't taken any loads because I blocked myself from the aisle. But um, yeah, here's a peek at our locker. It's looking a lot more organized despite all this chaos out here. Uh, so I gotta go through all of this still, all of that, all that, all that, and then a few boxes back there. This stuff, unfortunately, is starting to look more just like kid stuff. Little girl toys, clothes, such. Back there, some potential. Um, you know, a couple boxes that might be decent. Oh, actually, this one right here says Wii and Xbox. I peeked in there, I see a bunch of movies. So that's a good box. Um, actually, I would have liked to have brought that one home, but kind of buried it. All right, just want to get back a little bit so I can show you what it looks like now. Filled back up again, how about that? All right, we're done for tonight. All right, good morning, Locker Nuts. Monday morning. It's about, I don't know, maybe before 9. And I've already taken a couple loads out to the trailer. Forgot to forgot to update you this morning, but... Um, yeah, I got the trailer, so this should all go very quickly. Yeah, I just loaded the gun safe on the uh, trailer here, and this door swing open, and I saw this. I'm just take those out too. Some bullets. So, what do we have here? This looks old. This looks really old. Wow, this looks really old. So, what do we got here? Ah. Uh -huh. Waffen Fabric Mosser AG. So, what is this, German? Hmm, I know somebody would buy this. But, I mean, I, I know immediately someone that would be interested in this, but he's a reseller. So, yeah. I like it. You know, I don't think I've ever found anything like this before. For some reason, I've just been... <laughs> I don't find things like this. Maybe because I'm always buying the cheap lockers. So, yeah. I think that's a bayonet. I think that's what slips on the end of the rifle. Alright, we got a lovely print here. And I say lovely sarcastically. It is, it's actually not bad. It's colorful. Anything with Golden Gate Bridge is cool, in my opinion. Um, the frame is in really nice shape. Yeah. And it's actually nicely framed. And then we've got this one too. All right, we've got something here. Now that we've moved all this stuff, I got the toys. See, we got all that stuff there. That box, toys was all right here, and the frames were up on top. We moved all this. This bag right here keeps slipping down. You can kind of hear it. It's, it's slip, slip, slip. This has, it's got some weight to it, and I don't know what it is. So I want to turn the camera on. Actually, it's not that heavy. Uh, little Joe 
Can you do one? That might be worth something. Um. Paintball mask or a BMX max mask. Something propane tank. Oh yeah. Oh. It's a propane tank. That's a CO2 tank. There's the balls and this is a paintball mask. And maybe a paintball gun. Oh yeah. That. Oh, I thought that was Joe Montana, but I guess he got his pants dirty from playing. I guess it was it was before artificial turf. Okay. Uh, yeah, here's the button. Let's see what he does. I think there's more to it. Either that or he's pooping his pants kind of like they did this year. <laughs> so, go Raiders. Here we've got, it looks to be a pretty decent gun. It's a Spider Sport. Yeah, that's cool. Not bad. A bunch of parts in here. Build all over inside too, probably oil or something for cleaning it. Yeah, it's very messy. Alright, this little dude's coming with me. Get this later. Alright, I was hoping for some real guns in there, but paintball guns a close second, I guess. I don't know. That's a few bucks. Got some games or videos. Alright, cool. Alright, this one says Ashes Hope Chest. And I popped it open, and this is what we see inside. Are these little bags? And this, this box is actually kind of heavy, so. Creative. It's Japan. Uh, hmm. I'll have to look it up. I, I have never heard of that. What else we got in there? Uh -huh. Salt and peppers. All right, three hours later, and I'm done. Feels so good. You got this little piggy right here. I'm trying to get his cap off, I can't get it off. And uh, yeah, this, I mean, I'll get a dollar maybe, maybe for that at the flea market. So here's one of the ha hammers that I found in a storage at some point. I love, I love hammers. I don't know why. But love hammers. I'm just going to take that away from the cat. Luna. Luna. She's ignoring me. Luna. Hey. You sleeping? You sleeping, cold kitty? Okay. So. Boom. Just like that. What do we got here? A couple dimes already fell out. Some pennies, but... No gold coins. About buck fifteen change, not too bad. So let's cut it right there. We've got a lot of stuff that came out on this particular episode. And we've got some more coming out next time, right? Because I brought some boxes home. We'll go through those, or at least I'll show you the more interesting. There was quite a few boxes. Uh, we've got a toolbox that we still have to open and take a peek see inside. And then we just might have another safe that still needs to be opened. <laughs> Let's not forget about that. But we found plenty of good stuff on this episode. Oh, including this. This is one of the neatest things I've ever found in any locker. It's not super high value. It winds up being worth about 80 to 100 bucks. I can't believe it's not worth more than that. Um, it is a bayonet for sure. But it is um, definitely a piece of history. So... Knowing that it's not big, big value, I'm definitely not selling this. I'm keeping this. Someday when I have a live wall behind me instead of this mess, I will display this proudly. This is one of my coolest finds. Um, 
Next episode, we'll also take a closer look at those guns that we found because those are some interesting guns and let's talk about values on them as well. And then let's not forget about this bad boy right here. I still do not know if this thing is real or not. It is ticking right now. It is wound up. It was wound up a long time ago. Still working. Uh, that's a good sign. I just don't think that it's real. I still don't think it's real, but on this one, I definitely do not know for sure. But on the next episode, I'm going to hold up my Rolex and this one so we can compare them side by side. And you can see what I was talking about, why I have my doubts. Okay, but definitely this is, I think, the nicest replica, if it is a replica, that I've ever found. It is a nice watch. <laughs> so anyways, thanks you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit me the thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. Come on, we need some subscriptions. Our sub count is slowing down. So do me a favor, subscribe if you have it. Don't forget to hit the bell icon because that's going to notify you when we have future videos roll out, including the next episode in this little chapter we've got going here. All right, thanks so much for watching. We'll be out with another episode very, very soon. But until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locking It. Yeah. What do you guys think? It's pretty, isn't it? Is it real, though?